you own a beach towel like this, I'm gonna show you why sand cloud towel is so much better than a traditional beach towel. I'm gonna do a few experiments comparing sand cloud towel to a traditional beach towel to find out which beach towel is the best beach towel in the world. Okay, let's get started. In order to make the experiment as accurate as possible, I'm gonna cut small squares from each towel so we can run our test. The squares are cut, I put them in the frame, let's get started. The first test is the one I'm most excited about, which is the sand free test. This one's gonna show which towel holds the most sand and which towel is gonna be bringing the most sand back to your car after you're done going to the beach. You can see that the terry cloth has all the sand stuck in all these little loops right over here. Sand cloud is pretty much sand free. Maybe there's a few little grains hanging out there and we're gonna weigh them to see how much sand is actually on this towel compared to this towel. Sand cloud gained 2.7% of its weight in sand. Uh, so slight increase, a little bit of staying on sand did stick to it. Uh, terry cloth, 54.6%. So it held on 25 times more sand than sand cloud, which is crazy. This test is called the float test. I'm gonna drop both towels in the water. We're gonna see how long they take to absorb the water and sink to the bottom. Okay, uh, first thing you're gonna notice is that uh, terry cloth starting to get heavy. You can see the bottom's starting to sink. Uh, sand cloud's holding strong, floating right on top, but it is starting to get heavier too. You can see the water is starting to take hold, uh, a, a lot of hold of uh, terry cloth. It's starting to sink to the bottom already. Sand cloud uses Turkish cotton, which is Turkish uh, uh, spun yarn. Uh, they have longer filaments, so it just takes a longer time for the water to absorb it and drag it to the bottom. There you go. You can see that it's taken on the water. There you have it. You have terry cloth all the way to the bottom. Sand cloud's fully submerged. Didn't sink all the way, but it's fully underwater. And one thing you'll notice is that sand cloud took a lot longer to, to sink. And part of that is the cotton that it's made of, it's higher quality cotton. It tends to have longer filaments of, of cotton, which basically don't allow the water to seep in as fast. Now what I'm most excited for is putting these towels uh, to the dry test and seeing how they handle uh, and how quickly they dry. <laughs> no! Sand cloud, two minutes and 40 seconds. Terry cloth, nine minutes and 55 seconds. Uh, so sand cloud dries three times faster than terry cloth. You know, these loops not only hold on to sand, they hold on to water. So it makes it really difficult for them to dry. What's the biggest advantage of having a towel that dries slow? Is it gets moldy and mildewy and it's gonna take longer for you to be able to use your towel. Versus sand cloud, you can just hang dry, it'll be dry by the next day. What I loved about doing all those experiments, it really gave us a, a different way to look at these towels. It showed us that sand cloud performs really well when it comes to things attaching to the towel, water, sand, things like that. It does a really good job expelling those. Uh, it dries really fast and it gets rid of the sand really fast. Terry cloth really failed at that. These loops just hold on to the sand. They also hold on to the water, making it more uh, um, susceptible to mold and mildew. This towel is not made for the beach. If I want to take some to the beach, I'm going to take sand cloud. It's comfortable, it looks cool, and it's designed for the beach. If you're looking to order one of these, check out our website, sandcloud.com, for all the styles and patterns. <laughs>